Hey everybody, it's Lance with Love to Hate, back to do another unboxing video. This time we have Wingspan from Stonemeyer Games, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave. Uh, this is a game that's been around for a little while, but this is the new print run uh, that comes with the... now includes a swift start pack, four guides, and ten new cards to aid new players. Uh, that to my understanding, isn't necessarily new content as much as it is new in uh, the new print run of the games. Uh, I've had Wingspan before in the past and it did not include those cards and so I'm very interested to know what those cards are like being since uh, we play games with people who don't typically play games. And uh, that new player aid uh, seems interesting. So Wingspan, a competitive bird collection engine building game for one to five players. You are bird enthusiasts, researchers, bird watchers, or ornithologists, I think I said that right, and collectors seeking to, to discover and attract the best birds to your aviary. Each bird extends a chain of powerful combinations in one of your habitat's uh, actions. These habitats focus on several key aspects of growth. Gain food tokens via custom dice in a bird feeder dice tower. Lay eggs using egg miniatures in a variety of colors. Draw from hundreds of unique bird cards and play them. The winner is the player with the most points accumulated from birds, bonus cards, end of round goals, eggs, cached food, and tucked birds. All right, so let's go ahead and give this an open and see what we have in here. All right, so uh, first thing, 30% uh, off coupon to get the digital edition of Wingspan. Wingspan, excuse me. There's no D on the end. Uh, and then we have our rule book here. Pull back just a little bit so you guys can see that. And I don't believe much has changed in the rule book here if you have seen Wingspan before. Rule book is very nice, linen finish. Anyway, there you guys go with that. Um, I had a play video, Stonemeyer Games puts that out, very nice. Uh, an appendix that uh, has all the icons in here, as well as, I believe, what most of the cards do. Yeah, the bird powers for all the cards. So there you go. There's that. And then the Atoma uh, rule book for solo play. Very nice. And here we go, the components. So we still have our very nice eggs of different colors. And we got, we have cubes and dice. Okay. And a score pad. And some trays to hold everything. It's always nice. And the card tray with the lid. There you go. Some extra baggies, looks like. The round tracker. And it's two-sided. And this, I believe, is the thing that I'm most excited about here, if I'm not mistaken. Let me open this up. Let 
Okay, so, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the player aid. Um, that teaches you how to uh, help a new player learn wingspan. These instructions describe the first four turns of the first round. These cards can be shuffled into the deck in future games. And so I believe that is talking about uh, these cards right here. This is the small little quick start pack. And so looks like each player gets an aid. So player one, two, three, and four are all I guess going to be set up a little bit differently, looks like, yeah. Uh, and teaches you to play the game a little bit different depending on your turn order. That's very cool, very interesting. So I will have to check that out as we review this game. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and check this out. And so these cards are marked a little bit different to s distinguish them from the other cards in the game. And I assume that those player aids and, and the startup instructions detail how to use these cards to help you to learn the game and get into gameplay a little bit quicker than just playing it as is. So we'll uh, have to check that out and see what that's all about. Uh, what else do we have here? It looks like we have all the cards, lots of cards in this game. So we'll open up one of these. I'm not gonna open up all of them. If you guys have never played Wingspan before, it's a engine building game of sorts that you use these birds, you collect them and put them in your different habitats of either the wooded area, um, the trees, the swampland, that sort of thing, to uh, get more birds, eggs, food for your birds. It is a resource management game as well. So anyway, there you go. Lots of beautiful birds in this game. And these are our, the player boards, which uh, look like little journals, but you open them up and you find that the very pretty colors, beautiful artwork on these player boards. And lots of icons, but not anything too unbearable. And all the same, all the other ones are the same, I believe. Just double check, but yeah. So. And what else do we have in here? We have the contents for the birdhouse. Very cool component in this game. Uh, it comes with a birdhouse dice tower. As you guys can see there, you punch this out and you put it together. I'm not going to do that right now because it'll take a bit. Uh, and we do have our punch out tokens for our different resources. Come out very nice and easy. Our first player token right here, the scissor tail fly catcher, which uh, for those of you out there, we live in the great state of Oklahoma and the state bird of Oklahoma is a scissor tail fly catcher. So there you go. Anyway, uh, that looks to be about it. Uh, Stonemeyer Games always puts their little uh, icon on the side of the box that teaches you how to put everything back in the box. I appreciate that because sometimes it's a hassle. So anyway, we will be doing a playthrough and review of Wingspan in the near future. Uh, and we will really be testing out this material right here as this, like I mentioned earlier, was not in my copy of Wingspan that I had previously. And so I am very interested in knowing how this works. Uh, anyway, check that out. Uh, if you like this content, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. We're putting out new content uh, every week. Uh, and we would love for you guys to join us along for the ride. All right, this has been Love to Hate.